Uh, today, myself and uh, my friend Dave Fall and Shannon Jackman put together uh, 22 push-ups to honor our military men and women that ultimately take their lives each and every day to suicide. Uh, we also pushed one, we call it the plus one, for active duty military men and women that also ultimately take their lives um, every day. So the 22 plus one is 22 veterans each and every day that commit suicide due to the physical and psychological wounds of war and or serving in the military. Plus one is active duty. military men and women so these men and women are going to join Dave Fall and myself to do 22 plus one. Real quick can we say hi to Chief Lee of the Hopkinson Police Department. Sir thank you very much for having us out here today. The Hopkinson Police and much. Fire Department and we have an Ashland firefighter down here also. All right so let's have everybody get down. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. And exercise. One, one two, two, three, four. four. Honestly, I just started doing some push-ups. Um, went live on Facebook, and uh, I hooked up with uh, Miss Vivarius there, and we just been going ever since then. And then we decided to do the uh, stride and ride relay together. So that's how we ended up, just through coincidence, I guess you could say. All right. So is it a regular? So it's safe to say on a regular basis you're going from station to station, town to town. Uh, yes, sir. I try to make sure I can get where I can to raise as much awareness as possible. I was down in Cabo last year doing at a fire department in Cabo, St. Lucas. So yeah, I've been traveling around trying to do it and raise as much awareness as possible. Okay, and I noticed that you get the police and fire involved. Why do you involve police and fire? Um, it's very important to uh, bridge that gap because these men and women also serve on those thin lines. And so Shana had reached out to me and asked if we would come out here and do 22 push-ups. And uh, many people don't may or may not know that we actually lose two to three police officers every week to suicide and two uh, firefighters, paramedics to suicide as well every week. So that's another five. And, uh, you know, many of these men and women are also veterans. So it's very important because when these veterans serve, um, when they come home, they want to continue that service to the people and to our country. So ultimately they become uh, firefighters, police officers, EMS, paramedics, uh, dispatchers even. And they get in that line and they do something that's greater than themselves. They give so much so selflessly. So we get out here, we push for our veterans, but when we're pushing for our veterans, we're pushing for our first responders and civilians struggling. So to give people that hope that so many people need nowadays. I think so. All right, what else is coming up? Uh, we actually um, have a big event. It's going to be honoring our military men and women. Um, October 7th through the 14th, 2017, we're doing an event called Stride and Ride Relay, which is uh, the significance of October 7, 2001 is because uh, that was when our men and women were deployed after 9-11. So we're uh, creating this event called Stride and Ride Relay, um, which will kick off on October 7, 2017. We will relay to every single 9-11 um, location where 9-11 occurred to pay um, our respects to the 2,977 victims, give our thanks to the first responders who stepped up that very faithful day and continued to step up until this day. But it is to honor and remember our military men and women who've paid the ultimate sacrifice and those that are still serving and sacrificing uh, 15 years later. And obviously in 2017, it'll be 16 years later. And so uh, that's what Stride and Ride really is about. It's about giving thanks to those men and women that are still serving and really all that have served past, present and future. And uh, to give our thanks to first responders and never forget the victims of 9-11. What made you decide to bring this to Hockey? Well, my good friend Heather was posting doing 22 push-ups at the starting line. And her and I share the same passion to give back to our veterans and bringing awareness to not often spoken about or talked about veteran suicide. It also happens in law enforcement and also in the fire departments for everything that they see every day. 
So when I told, found out she was only just down the street, I was like, you need to come over here. And she's like, yeah, I would love to, but I would love the police and fire to be part of it. So I was like, let me talk to my chief. Let's get this going. So in a matter of just two weeks, because I didn't want to wait too long. I just wanted to get it done and get everyone involved and not hesitate. And so the chief, I sent a message to him and, and told him all about the program and the organization, what they do and, and the cause. And he was like, absolutely. He didn't hesitate. He wrote right back and it wasn't even on ours. He was off duty and definitely responded quickly, like, let's do this. So um, we just, then I posted to everyone with the fire department and the police department and said, hey guys, this is an amazing cause. Let's let's kind of join in together and, and do 22 push-ups. Cause we have a lot of physically fit people. It doesn't look like you can do 22, so it's not too bad.